this vaccine. Before I speak about it, let me tell you one thing that this is not the vaccine that is soon launched uh, for the very first time. Uh, in India, of course, it is coming for the first time. But uh, earlier, it was in last year, 2020, already in August, there was uh, the vaccine had been uh, launched in Russia. So this is the vaccine which has already been launched in Russia and right now uh, in this month, current month, that is April, we are going to, we are thinking that India has been on this situation that we are right now thinking about this vaccine, Sputnik V. Before I talk about the mechanism of this vaccine, let me tell you one thing. What is the idea of vaccination? See, in our body, when any pathogen, that is any germ, is attacking our body, our body already has a proper immune system and this immune system is protecting our body by producing antibodies. Let me draw the antibody diagram like what we denoted that this Y symbol, this Y symbol is denoting antibodies. Antibodies are also proteins which are known as immunoglobulin. Our body's immune system has two parts you can say. One is the innate immune system, which is not a very specific one, as it is acting on all the germs in a similar fashion. So initially, any germ, any uh, which is on the skin, or maybe in the tissues, or in the bloodstream, it is uh, fought. Means it is fought by these and uh, by these. Uh, you can say they, uh, right now we are not talking about the secondary immune response. So I am not talking about antibodies. I am talking about the initial fight that is by these spider these cells which are fighting and these are going to fight against the germs that is the innate immune system which is non-specific it acts in a general fashion but if i'm going to talk about the adaptive immunity adaptive immunity rather we can call it adaptive immunity or acquired immunity. So, acquired immunity or adaptive immunity, you can say this is the part of secondary response. It is the part of, I write in this way, so I am not talking about the innate. The innate is the first response that is given. Okay, generalized manner, non-specific it is. But in case of uh, what to say the secondary immune response secondary immune response it is adaptive immunity or you can say acquired immunity these uh, here the cells are very specialized and specific in their function and these are conducted by WBCs and uh, T lymphocytes and the B lymphocytes. So in my discussion, I'm not going to focus too much on this topic. I'm going to focus on the vaccination. Vaccines, uh, generally when I'm, what I'm talking about, the antibodies. Antibodies are parts of acquired immunity or adaptive. Let's focus on adaptive immunity. Here the cells are very specific in their function. And antibodies, which are also proteins, are antibodies are proteins and these are acting specifically. So in this case, what I'm talking about, adaptive immunity or acquired immunity is conducted by the antibodies that is WBC, the T lymphocytes and B lymphocytes, B cells and T cells we call it and here this function is very specific. What happens is after an initial attack, when our, when our body is being attacked with any germs, a pathogen, a foreign particle, a virus, a virus which is always present, it may be present around us but our body has got the defense mechanism, the first line of defense is given by this innate immunity which is not very specific, non-specific it is, but in case of secondary immune response it's very specific, it, it has a good immunological memory, it has a good immunological memory, that means it's, it remembers its enemy. It has a good immunological memory and it remembers its enemy very well that yes, this is the enemy I had fought earlier and then yeah, it combines with the uh, 
antibodies. Antibodies have a big responsibility. It binds with the pathogens. In this case, the pathogens which are uh, around found that is uh, antigens. It binds with it so that the host is safe. This is the whole idea, and this idea is actually the idea of vaccination. Vaccination is artificial inoculation. In this case, what we are talking about, when any pathogen is attacking our body, it is the body's secondary immune response, the antibodies, which are proteins, immunoglobins, these are binding on to the antigen, antigens, uh, and they are fighting, henceforth, the virus or bacteria is going to be killed. This is the total idea. And this idea is by vaccines. Now you may ask me how it is going to happen. Many people have a false idea. That's why we are going to take, we, we will not take vaccines. Why? Because we are going to, our body is going to be fed with a virus. Yes, it is from the diagram in this manner that any foreign, any virus, it has got a structure. You may have seen in diagrams right now in many places we are very familiar with coronavirus diagram so it's something like this and it has got the genetic material inside it which is rna in case of coronavirus coronavirus the genetic material is rna it's rna virus and it has got some spikes let me draw the spike with different color so that it is easily understood it has got spikes like this the spike proteins we say and there are several receptors these are the surface receptors okay so it's on the a virus is will be identified on the basis of some of the characteristics and one such characteristic is the spike protein okay now the structure is something like this coronavirus which is where the genetic material a virus can only harm you if it is able to replicate, that is reproduce, and it only replicates when it is inside a host which is living. So if a living host is present and it somehow enters the living host, then only starts its activity. And in this case, coronavirus, the genetic material, material is I. So when we are talking about vaccines, if I am going to introduce the virus into a person, the person will be showing the disease symptoms and will be attacked by this virus. So this thing I cannot allow to happen. So what our scientists have thought that why don't we do something or a mimic of the whole incident that we are introducing a virus which is harmless. So before you have this thought that I am going to take a virus and so I am going to have uh, something which is harmful to our body. No, not at all. Your body will be completely safe after vaccination, provided that you are following certain protocols of it. That is, in this case, the virus which is carrying uh, virulent properties, that is the factors that can cause disease, and that is from the proteins, virus will be uh, having, uh, will be producing the transcription and the translation. Finally, proteins. These proteins are responsible to carry the diseases or the disease causing factors. So if we remove those disease causing factors and then we weaken the virus, we have to weaken this virus in such a way that it is harmless. Remember, I am putting it in this box so that everybody can understand this fact that the virus that is given to your body is completely harmless. This is a vector that is used is adenovirus where the small component in red you will find this is the SARS-CoV-2 component. Now when this uh, vector which is a recombinant you can say is introduced into human body. Now this will be introduced in the human body. This is the human body. This is the adenovirus which is DNA virus. And this is this component, SARS-CoV-2 component, which is RNA virus component. Not the whole of the virus is introduced, just a small component which is able to produce the spike protein. And the viral factors will be 
removed. That means that the factors that can produce COVID-19 will be removed from it. The virus is now weakened. So this will be introduced into human body. This is the human body. What happens is our human body, the adaptive immunity, which, which has got the role of, it remembers its enemy also. So what it does is, it produces antibodies. Okay, the human body will be producing antibodies, which are also proteins. These antibodies, let me represent it like Y, it will be attacking this virus, the spike proteins. And what is happening is, when it will be, the spike proteins are, these are proteins, these will be binding onto this portion and uh, these antibodies are binding onto the proteins and killing the SARS-CoV-2. So this is the whole idea of vaccination. That instead of killing the host, the host is human. Instead of killing the host, what is the idea? That when, it will, when this is our vaccine, this is our vaccine. When it is introduced onto the human body, the human body is secondary immune response. It is the responsibility here. The antibodies will be attacking. It will be binding onto the proteins, the spike proteins. It will be the identification of the spike proteins is in such a way that antibodies will be recognizing it. Yes, this is the SARS-CoV-2, and it will be binding onto the proteins so that our host is free. That means human being is free. This is what is happening in the mechanism of Sputnik V vaccines. So what happens is, in a, a problem about a vector-based vaccine is that in due course of time, means when the antibodies are attacking the um, virus, it might happen, it happens that it starts attacking the vector also in the second dosage. There are, remember in Sputnik V, this, there are two doses. So in the second dose, what the problem will exist is that it starts attacking the vector itself. Now that we have known that our body's immune system is able to recognize the, and, uh, the spike proteins. The spike proteins will be recognized as, remember the spike proteins will be remembered as what? As this is, the, this, this is going to be the SARS-CoV-2. So it will be recognized by the human body's immune system, the antibodies, it will bind to the spike protein and henceforth it kills the virus. Now in due course of time, as I have discussed the problem earlier also, the problem is happening when there is a second dose. First dose, there are two doses. Remember, in this case there are two doses. First dosage, this antibodies are ready and it will be killing the virus. Now in the second dosage, what happens is, in a vector-based vaccine, this is a vector-based vaccine, Covishield is also a vector-based vaccine, a vector-based vaccine has the problem that in the second dosage, when the antibodies are already ready, means that the antibodies are already ready, it again, when we introduce in the second dose, it identifies the virus, SARS-CoV-2. Yes, this is the SARS-CoV-2 and it starts attacking. And it, when it starts attacking, it attacks the vector itself. That means our idea will be failing in the second dose. So what the Sputnik V, the, the scientists, the researchers, what they have thought is, they have introduced two different variants of this virus. One is RAD. 26S, another is RAD5S. So these are the two variants of the virus that is used. So that in the first dosage, when it, when it is able to identify the second dosage, a, a separate variant of the virus is used. That time it is unable to identify it as a as the same one. So it will only kill the SARS-CoV-2. In the first dosage and the second dosage, uh, you can say a gap of 21 days is maintained. Uh, earlier it was believed that if there is a long gap, it will be better. But now the thought is different uh, in this matter. We, in the, in the Russians have in Sputnik V, the mechanism is being conducted by two different variants. So in the first, way, first dosage, the antibodies which are attacking 
the SARS-CoV-2, which is very specific in its idea, is a secondary adaptive or acquired immune response, you can say. So when it is attacking and it is binding onto the spike protein, killing the SARS-CoV-2 component in the second dosage, so that our vector itself means it will not only kill the SARS-CoV-2 component, it starts killing it because it has recognized it. It will uh, also recognize the variant that yes, this was the variant I had killed earlier. So, so that it is not killing our vector, the different variant is used that is recombinant adenovirus 26S is one variant and the other is recombinant adenovirus 5S. Another variant is used so that our vector is safe but the SARS-CoV-2 component is being killed, the spike proteins it binds to and it kills the virus. So instead of waiting that which vaccine is best in the market, go and take the vaccine. This is the Sputnik V vaccine. Uh, we are uh, means we are hoping for the best one, best thing to happen. So when it is going to come, um, it is probability if there is a probability of having this vaccine in the last three to four months of the year. So before that, the Covishield has already come in the uh, Indian market. You can say and Go vaccine is also there from uh, our Bharat uh, Biotech and uh, Covishield Go from Serum Institute of Pune. So instead of waiting for the best vaccine, please go and take a vaccine and keep yourself safe. And this is the whole idea of the Sputnik V. Uh, another exclusive idea of Sputnik V is also in this matter that this vaccine is a freezed vaccine. That means it is in powder form. When it will be given to a person, it will be hydrated. This is another idea and there are almost four pharmaceutical companies which are in partnership so that we can have more number of doses, means more number of uh, doses prepared uh, to give uh, us. So in this case, you find Sputnik V. This is all about Sputnik V at this moment. If you want to really know about Covishield and Covaxin, please go and watch my videos and give you likes. And if you want to write anything regarding, regarding this matter, please write to me. Feel free to write, give likes and do subscribe to my channel. Thank you for being with me.